Today we're going to see if we can repair strip threads with JB Weld. Let's find out. Keep watching. So here we got a piece of cast aluminum that I have intentionally stripped out some threads. So obviously one of the better methods is to use like a helicoil or a thread cert type thing where you drill the hole bigger, you thread this in, and then you have, you know, threads to bite to. Um, even better than that, I think, is if you can just to drill the hole bigger and put in a larger bolt. So I drilled them out and we've got... Uh, 5 16 by 18 threaded bolts in there and I put three in because the idea I have is if somebody's going to use JB weld a lot of times they won't have a tap or anything else like that they just want the bolt to hold so what I did is I used the long cure JB weld because it actually is a fair amount stronger than the uh, quick you know this stuff cures in like five seven minutes or something else like that it cures way stronger so I put JB Weld in these holes and the bolt just slid in and out before I just drilled it too big for it to go in and out. But I oiled all of the bolts. This one I oiled with ATF, um, automatic transmission fluid. This one I did uh, WD-40 and this one I waxed. And I've let them sit for about three days. They only take about 24 hours to cure, but I wanted to make sure that JB Weld was as tough as possible. And here I actually just filled up a hole because we're also going to try to drill and tap a hole and then we're also going to try to to use the quick stuff and probably even this stuff that i really like for stuff this is like a two-part uh putty that you just slice off what you need kind of mix it up jam it in there but it dries in like five ten minutes something like that just like the quick but it's a little more putty like versus liquid like so let's just throw a wrench on these i haven't even touched them and see if we can back these out and if they have formed threads we'll try the wax one first since i'm on here It broke free. Let's see. And it is coming out clean. So as you can see, the threads actually formed really nice. And the bolt, so wax is a good one. And that the bolt threads in and out nice and, it's nice and tight. It's about 5 16ths, 8 millimeter, but this one was WD-40. It is not, the UD40 is not a lubricant. <laughs> it is, it's just ripping out the whole bolt. And I think this is what I tried years and years ago. I played around with this method. You know, because generally, well, I don't know. It's tight, but it's coming out. Maybe it's working. We do have... We do have threads, they are a little boogered up, but I also got it on this, and they're not coming super cleanly. The, the, uh, the WD-40 did not repel the uh, JB Weld good enough. And here we have ATF, and that feels like it broke free easy like the wax so these bolts right here these 5 16 bolts i did it right here before it stripped out we're pulling about 35 foot pounds of torque through about a half inch thick chunk of aluminum and it started to actually even crack the aluminum it actually cracked it pretty good and we are 8.1 We're about 10 foot pounds, 10.1, and it's stripping out. Now let's try this one where the top threads got a little boogered up. 7.8. Average about between 8 and 10, so about 9 foot pounds. But even though this one wasn't formed as nice, it actually held a little bit better, which 2 foot pounds is really. You know, that's in the margin of error. So I drilled four holes right here. And so we'll use some quick, some quick drying epoxy stuff and we'll fill those in and we'll do the same methods and we'll put some bolts in those and then we'll drill and tap those as, along with this one over here and see how they hold up. It's been a couple hours. JB Quick Weld sets up in five minutes, but it takes about four hours to cure. So we've allowed it to do that. 
The, the quick steel takes um, just one hour to cure. So this one's had extra cure time, but it only takes one hour. This takes four. Um, we have this hole to tap, which is the JB weld that I have not tapped yet. Um, this one right here, I put the JB quick in. But one thing I found out is the reason it's failing, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the it's just pulling the threads out. The threads are still all intact. So it's just like a little mini helicoil. So it's just pulling away from the side. So I thought that on this one, if I could put some side grooves in, so I got three little spots and I did some size grooves. So these are the exact same JB Quick, these two right here, but this one has some size grooves to help the JB weld something to grab so it doesn't twist out. This one was waxed and the wax seems to release nice. I don't know. The problem with this stuff is it's so thick. It cures fast. But I have my doubts on this one. Let's see about the JB Quick. Yeah, the, the wax is the way to go. The wax just releases. Yeah, I got nothing. But he's just too, it's too dry. So maybe with me tapping, I, I couldn't get it around the threads good enough. So maybe the one we tap, it'll be better. But this one would be most ideal because it only takes an hour to set and you're done. Okay. The quick. And it's kind of giving away at four foot pounds. 4.1 Ooh, we got 7.6 Now let's see if we can get higher with the side things Ooh, that feels a little bit better. No, 6.1 or 6.7. So the last one to test is the JB Weld Full Cure regular JB Weld with the whole tap. And it feels like it did a pretty good job tapping and everything. Definitely felt stronger. So let's see. Oh, yeah, we got 9.4. This is only half inch of threads as well. Three eighths to half of an inch. We're not doing very deep threads. So, I mean, if you had longer threads, you know, if you had one inch of thread, you, you could probably account for double that. So you get about almost 20 foot pounds of torque on one inch of thread. And just for fun, I have a whole video on it, but I'll show you the copper wire method. What we end up with that on this stripped out one with half inches of thread. 15.6 that's higher than I did these two these couple and then I got about 10 10 to 11 so I got 15.6 on this one and we're completely stripped out but you know that's the copper wire method I actually beat all the other methods I have a whole video on that so go watch that if you're interested in that method where you can just assemble the part there's no waiting for glue or anything else to dry well you never know unless you play around and test does it work it actually does. If you just had a valve cover gasket and if you had no threads in there whatsoever, the bolts just pulling in and out, just completely sloppy, this will give you, you know, one inch of thread would give you 15 to 20 foot pounds of uh, holding power, enough to hold the RTV in there. If you just still got a little bit of threads and you feel the bolt in there, I still think that the copper wire trick, that I'll put a link to that video right after here, um, is definitely better. It's quicker than this. This just takes time, you know, because you got to wait 24 hours for this stuff to dry, but it does work. Impressed me. I didn't think it would work so easily, but it does. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys soon. Bye.